PlayStation 5 just got a much needed update. Xbox Game Pass is going to be coming out with different games all year, both first and third party. There's going to be so much gaming news this year that we might as well discuss. What's going on everybody my name is fly guy gbg and this is fly guy gaming news if you are new to the channel go ahead and give your boy a sub turn on the notifications and like the video if you enjoy the content that i'm providing to you but let's get into it first thing is playstation 5 finally 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 got discord communication and honestly it's very easy to set up all you do is you link your playstation network account to your discord account and then boom when you actually join a discord call you join it on your phone and then you transfer it to your PlayStation 5. This is very similar to how Xbox integrated Discord into their system. Initially, you had to connect it via your phone and transfer it to your console. So I can only imagine that PlayStation is going to end up updating their system as well. And they're going to make it a little bit more streamlined for people that want to use Discord instead of party chat and game chat. Now, I said that it is easy to connect, but it does not come without flaws. If you're playing with a content creator and that content creator has different rooms, for example, rooms that are locked that are voice chat rooms, if they drag you into one of those voice chat rooms, you will be disconnected. There's no way for you to be able to talk in that actual room unless they give you privileges in order to be in that room. Now, before y'all jump down my throat and say, but Xbox has that same issue. I was going to say that Xbox currently has that same issue where you can't be in locked rooms unless you get privileges. I was. I was going to say that, I promise. And the one other issue that I've run into, and it could be just a one-off issue. I'm not sure if anybody else is having this problem. My boy's voice, when he was actually using it, would cut in and out all the time. He wouldn't be able to finish his sentences half the time because Discord would, I don't know. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't pick up everything that he was saying. Now on to other news. Xbox Game Pass is bringing the heat this year. And if you're one of those people that like to save money like myself, oh, the heat is coming. It's coming. The great thing about how Xbox is actually positioning themselves this year, although they did have a lot of delays in 2022, which is causing them to have as big of a year as they are having in 2023, is the fact that they're trying to hit different audiences. All of their games that are coming out this year on Game Pass are different. For example, at the beginning of this year, we got Hi-Fi Rush. Later this year in August, we're going to get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That is a third-party title that is coming to Game Pass day one, and it is way different from anything like Hi-Fi Rush or even Starfield or Redfall. It is completely different from those games. We'll be getting games like Redfall in May. We'll be getting Texas Chainsaw Massacre in August, and we'll be getting Starfield in September. That is three different types of games that can cater to all different types of genres. The most controversial news that we're getting out of all of this, and it's because it's one of our most anticipated games that we have coming to Xbox Game Pass this year, is Starfield is not coming out until September 6th, 2023. A lot of people feel like that is a second delay. And in my opinion, yes, I know they said these are all games that will come out within 12 months, but none of them had a definitive date. Without a definitive date, you can't really delay something. You can say this is expected to come out in X amount of time, but without a concrete, like a concrete date, it's not delayed. Now, in all honesty, I'm one of those people that mainly play multiplayer games. So, for example, I need this Activision Blizzard King. You know what I'm saying? I need that thing to go ahead and go through so that I ain't got to pay for Call of Duty no more because you right. I don't like buying games. No. Hey, but that's all I got for today, guys. If you guys want to actually see me play video games, you can check me out on Twitch or Kick. Those are the two platforms that I currently stream on, and it's always a good time when we over there. So come check your boy out. But other than that, it's been the news. I'm out.